Then we want to look at, and um, obviously Lima's here, and uh, we want to talk about that connection between nine and ten. We've exactly. got an ex-old has been forward, an ex-old has been nine, and a very talented ten. But we spotted something at the weekend that you were involved in, and it's when that time when the forwards, the talentless ones, get in the way, and the ten wants the ball. So what are you actually thinking about here? What do you want? So obviously here I'm screaming for the ball, but rugby's an imperfect game, so I don't get it. So we go to the forwards, and then we play out the back to the ten, and then we try to get it wide, but... Obviously, the, poor execution there. and then The chance is gone. The chance is gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at it from a nine's perspective, trying to keep that link between a nine and ten, and then also the forwards who have got a job to do, uh, and uh, we'll go through that. Obviously, we've got the girls here from Westcliff, uh, and the guys here are from Spalding. Um, so we're going to go through the two different options. Well, the, fir the first thing that the, the forward's job is, is if, if he wants them just to truck it up, they're going to do that. So the, the angle of run that you're looking at there is actually standing still. You delivering the ball to me, standing still. And then instead of running straight back and, and not taking away any of the defenders, we're going to go on an outside arc. We're going to go as a three so that as we hit, we try and win the collision. But importantly, we're trying to get quick ball out of the ruck so that we've tied in a few defenders and we've created some space for Lima on the outside. So, Lima, in that scenario, though, the forwards are in control. But if you've seen opportunity, how do you get them out the way? Because... Ultimately, number 10, number 9 are in charge of the game and the forwards just move the piano. Yeah, so if I want to get the forwards out of the way, ideally I'd give you an early call so that you know that the ball's going to me. So in this case, I might call hot and then the forwards just run forward. But this and time I'm actually going to go before you pass it to create a bit of space, but I've still get... drawn the defenders onto me. Now I'll get it behind and then we'll just swing it wide. And you're quite happy to get that ball in with three forwards, your clear out guys in front of you, you're quite happy with that? Yeah, quite happy with that because... My outside guys have probably seen the space out there and hopefully we've got a, maybe a four on two and then we can... From a nines point of view, though, it's quite difficult. If you come round here and take a look at the angle, we see the Irish pod now, this pod of three. Instead of coming this way and moving with the pass, they actually come back at it. Now, if you do that this time, you see the difference it makes to the pass from the nine. If you take this angle, you come in close, look at the nine. He's got a lot to think about. It's difficult. You've got two calls, feet all over the place. You've got to get the ball. And these boys come back towards the ball. That pass means that the 10 can stand a lot flatter. We're seeing that with Sexton standing there a lot flatter and still getting the best of both worlds. But you've You've also got the other option, haven't you, where you can do a little bit of both. Yeah, so in this option, what we can do here is we can hit our forwards. So we'll hit them, and then I can come out the back, call a hook, he passes it, and then we just make our way out wide. What's the most important thing about that when you call the hook, then? Is it the deception, your timing, the way you flow around the corner? What are you looking for? Yeah, we're looking for good running line off the tip runner, and then early communication to the guy off the ball. The guy off the ball, he's got all the pressure on him. He's got defence coming at him. He doesn't know what he's going to do. So if I give him an early call, then we can hopefully get it wide. So let's go through. We'll take, it's like a game. We're going to throw it over there. Same sort of noises in a match. I'm coming in. What are we sort of hearing right, here? Back, What's going back. on? Hit the forwards. Hook so on. Hit the Hook, big guy. He carries in. Again, we come round the corner. Scoop the ball through, through the hands. Score the try. It's as easy as that. But for all the kids who are watching are at home, we play. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't no. think Mr Miyagi got this tired when he was doing that. No, Kim, um, Kim Jong Oz is not actually, <laughs> he's not fit enough for this game, oh, but I'll tell you what. But lots of people watching at home shot. thinking you just play nine or ten. There's so much that goes into it, so many little pieces of information. So if you are doing that with your school, think about all the finer details. Yeah, really, good really good stuff there. Thanks to Lee, man, for the demo teams for getting involved in that. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you.